Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, AGM, and welcome back. We are, yes, we are finally back after a couple of days of hiatus, well, quote-unquote, uh, we've been working on a couple projects here and there and doing things, uh, and, and with that, like, we're also kind of uh, premiering a new layout for the podcast stuff, like, well, we kind of already did work on one, like, this is similar to the one we did for the Age of Calamity podcast, but yeah, like we're we're trying to keep things more a bit more professional and doing them things with a more variety. Uh, but yeah, like uh, I'm joined this time by my compadre, like uh, like uh, the one and only Solar Elemental. Oh hi, Mark. There we go. <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, all right. And today, uh, I mean, we have a lot of topics to talk about. Uh, I mean, we can also we, we can definitely go with the Game Awards as well as some many many different topics, like because. Shit has been going down in the last couple, in the last few weeks uh, since we last have uh, our podcast. Uh, oh which, yeah, yeah. The, the last one we had. Oh was, yeah. <laughs> the last few we had was uh, once again like uh, Animaniacs and uh, Nature Calamity. So today we're going back into a little bit of the heavy, the heavy subjects, which is Nintendo versus community. Uh, well, for those that might need the uh, some of the information, like, uh, Solar, are you familiar with the current events that happened with Nintendo? Very. <laughs> Very. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, well, we'll jump into a couple of, 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 of areas here and there before, like, in order to, like, uh, just see where we're going. Um, but why, why don't you start for, for, like, because I want to hear the, the stuff that you know first. <laughs> um, well, the trend... Uh, I can't remember the name of the place. I keep forgetting the name of the place when it comes to this, but um, that um, that place when um, they uh, that place that was holding the tournament, uh, the online tournament um, for it was like this major um, tournament place that held Smash tourneys uh, for Melee and Smash Ultimate. Um, but because of the pandemic and you know that these people are smart and actually take the virus seriously. They have they have decided not to do like in house you know tournament play, mm. um, and so well, they tried to instead of you know canceling it and just you know doing doing nothing and waiting for uh, maybe waiting for next year, they tried to do a workaround where they could use this um I think it's called Slippy like <laughs> which is funny um like they I. Uh, they use this little melee, melee add-on in Dolphin that allows for very um, well-done online play on me- melee and more like tournament-oriented. Which, by um, the way, it will and... be great if you could spread it around. Like, it will be good to have that uh, for for everyone, for the world to see, for the public audience. Uh, we're just saying, we're just. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but continue, continue. Um. And so they were, you know, getting all that set up. But the thing is. This tournament is usually has Nintendo sponsoring them, and Wait, because really? they're using, yeah, I actually never knew that Nintendo they, they're, was they're, into it. Uh, okay, yeah the the reason why like they got involved in the first place is because you know they are they were sponsor they were going to be sponsoring and you know, sort of you know encouraging this um this tournament the same way like with Evo back in the years. Um, uh-huh. and that's why what, what, and that's why what happened is about to happen where, uh, <laughs> Nintendo's like, wait, you're using emulation? No, that's not right. <laughs> what, okay. So, so that's the reason why they, they pulled this off. Like, I, I thought it was just the whole, like, oh, uh, not, no more melee support and shit like that. Okay. No, this is actually... Oh. Oh really? No, no, th- no. They they shut down the tourney because they're because they saw them using emulated versions of melee and 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 they were like like um that is technically illegal. Okay. And, and so and and so they shut and so they shut down the tournament uh, because they didn't like they didn't Fun. like them using they didn't like them using melee on an emulator and using a mod that modified their game for it to play online yeah. for a tournament. Right, right. And so and so they shut down the, the whole event, including 
which is it's it, it's really weird like why 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 you you know it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna do it i guess you know don't go all the way like for for this reason why because after they shut after they told them no and shutting it down instead of just saying no instead of saying no you guys can't do that but you guys can still you know stream ultimate matches uh no they just they literally shut down the whole event including the ultimate set all right i I, I will definitely say that you're giving me a lot of new information on this, Dan. Uh, like, I'm very glad that you were the one that talking about this. No, no, no. Like, again, this is exactly why, like, like for, the, for the audience here, like, I love all the people that, I, that, I, that I've been working on for the Great Line and all. But this is the reason why this man is important for this, because he's, like, he's, he's cut off with shit that I don't think any of us were cut off. So, like, like... So, 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 so this man is our Cole Fells, pretty much, except he doesn't fuck Germans. But that's a different story. But that's a different story. <laughs> you, mean, um, you mean fucking boy? boy. <laughs> but young boys, Valdez. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that. Or in this case, Nintendo, do you fuck over melee players? <laughs> oh, like again, like well, my better, my more, more like you, you fuck Joy-Con boys, Valdez. <laughs> Oh, but um, <laughs> that's still one of my favorite bits from that game. But anyway, oh, well, you know, that's, um, that's, that's its own story. But like, no, like, all right, continue. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, so, uh, so after that, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, hearing about okay, no, no, for the sake of for, for the sake hearing of, about the cancellation. Yeah, okay, uh, I I will go with that one because I actually do know enough because it's technically a short story, but still a very strong one. <laughs> um. Right. So after that, once again, like, and I'm gonna notice a pattern because I'm gonna make a shout out to another company that did something like this and it didn't go well. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll like we'll, we'll get there. Um, after that, they were still hosting the Splatoon tournaments, if I correct. Um, and, oh, this is my favorite part. And some of the people, like some of the users that got, they managed to sign in and to. Managed to make an and also managed to make a name for themselves during the tournament. They put their names with the hashtag Free Melee, uh, which is a hashtag that has been going on, like uh, as the name goes, uh, in order to like give the support to the people that were trying to just build a community or keep the community going despite the pandemic, as Solar has mentioned. Um, so after that, like as soon as people were starting to like breathe, like big people, like this were not just like some average players in the tournament like this apparently were like big names within the Splatoon community um, with, the, with that hashtag and Nintendo instead of like once again instead of like uh, say like hey can you not do this is it still a thing that Nintendo that, that the company is uh, going against as well as we're still posting this no they just went and pull a fucking mafia shit on this and shut down the whole tournament. They shut down their fucking community event, which I don't know if I don't like. Yeah. For, for those that are into gaming history, uh, you might have memories of another company that tried to do something a little bit a little bit stronger. I will at least give them the benefit that there was a, something a little mm -hmm. bit more political and more controversial. That they, I can see why they, uh, like, I don't support them at all. <laughs> But I can see why they ha were them put themselves into a corner by doing those decisions, which was bl Blizzard. <laughs> With uh, yeah, all I know was that yep. like I don't I don't re properly recall all of the events. I do apologize for that. But what I do remember is that some people I that do. were that were big into the Blizzard situation were like they didn't shut down the tournament, but they shut them down from the tournament, if I recall. <laughs> Yeah, what happened was a. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it was an Overwatch player. I think it was like a first. I can't remember um, which one. Yeah, it was I, like I, I, it was all the competitive team. Yeah, I can. Um, I can go with the his, specifics of that as well. I can. His, you know, his name was Bl uh, his username is Blitzchung, and so on the stream once he was done with the um, the session and everything, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, he. he you know his closing words were just um you know his closing words were you know just um saying a bunch of 
stuff and then ending it with uh you know um free ho free hong kong revolution of our lives and that's it that's all those those like six words yeah spoken very fast by the way he didn't he didn't embellish it he didn't make it a big deal he just said it simple as that <laughs> got him <laughs> got him fully banned from ever from ever attending and any official blizzard tournament and he okay. was kicked out of the <laughs> tournament as well and his prize and and his and his and his uh and his prize money was revoked and and um and this is this is where it gets even more stupid that i feel like that L that that um that i think that i think uh brings nintendo to the same to the same quality to the same uh, I wouldn't say quality, but uh, it's the same stupidity uh, as you, Blizzard you can in put the them situation. On the same level of, you can put them on the same level. I think that that's the proper word. Like again, like, like once again, uh, I, I, a part of me wants to put it a little bit further for Nintendo because, at the very least, and this is uh, this is still me not supporting the situation, but like once again, like keeping the whole business model because I know we're gonna bring that fucking topic. Like it's still stupid, <laughs> but I can see. Blizzard being put on, on a corner because hey you have this one player that's getting into a political situation and some of your investors might be interested in this topic and they don't want you to, and they don't want this the company to get involved so like I can see at least some very very twisted and still fucked up situation where they they had to make a decision <laughs> um so like, I can like that's why. Meanwhile, with Nintendo, there's no they they literally had nothing to lose, nothing as far as I'm concerned. The thing is, it's like you know what 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 Blizzard did was they not only you know got you know kicked Blitzchung off, but the two announcers that were there like doing the you know because because you know during tournaments you have your shoutcasters, you know your commentators, yeah, um and everything, um they they straight up. <laughs> They straight up fired those two. What the fuck? <laughs> as if, as as if they were responsible for it. Did you laugh? Like, it, it it's it's mind boggling. And after all of the after all the freaking outcry about that situation, Blizzard dialed back a little bit and were like, okay. We're sorry, um, Blitzchung will only be banned for six months, which, I mean, he shouldn't be banned at all. Motherfucker. Um, <laughs> like, you, you... <laughs> <laughs> but we're not giving the money back. They're like, fuck you. We're not, we're not giving the money. Well no, no, well, no, no. Well, no, they actually did give him the money back, but... Okay. <laughs> um, um, but, and, and also, but they also put, uh, and they also, you know, said that the shoutcasters, um, will uh, have the... Same punishment of being banned for a few months. And it's like, they didn't do anything. They were just there. You're basically making them victims because they were witnesses. No, uh, like, uh, it's, like that, <laughs> it's like that one fucking scene in Batman v Superman where they, uh, the guy that puts uh, Superman's statue like false god and they charge him as a terrorist. Yep. <laughs> just, just like, no, I don't <laughs> see the connection there. And yeah, that's a totally a song called Johnny <laughs> reference. I don't care. Um... <laughs> But <laughs> like so, like okay, like, but but again, like there's a lot of like even if they're not identical situations, like they're still very bullshit for kind of like the same principles. A lot of similarities. Like the the, the the principles are like are kind of falling into the same problem where like they put people that are standing on something without actually hurting the brand. Like they're still supporting and to a certain degree bringing money to the fucking brand. To, to the brands, so like because they can, we'll mm -hmm. get there, we'll get there. I swear to God, it's because I do have a very, uh, I have the closest to a perfect uh, rebuttal to every argument that they, that can be made towards Nintendo uh, or to defend it. And the same way, and the same way for Blizzard. Like I can say this for a fact, but mm. so because and once again, if you think those two are bad. <laughs> Like those two moments, like the, the melee and the free splatoon situation, we're about to get into someone even worse. Um, so again, this with this one, I'm gonna try to tackle it as normal and professional as possible because 
again, this is definitely a serious topic. I will always give that fact. Uh, I think it was last year by this point where uh, a very important streamer called Erika passed away due to a lot due to a, a lot of mental situations and mental struggles that led him to commit like to to do to hurt himself and to take the to, to take the fast way out. I think that's the best way to put it. Again, those that know the story, it's completely fine. Again, uh, we can. I think we can talk about this because it's important to acknowledge the situation as to why this was important. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for that, uh, there was somebody that uh, recently, uh, I don't know if it was recently that they made it because I've seen those designs around before, but I think this is the first time where they were like being sold, especially for the cost they were being. Like somebody was selling uh, layouts for the Joy-Cons with the Joy-Con voice uh, design, or, or or pretty much like the 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 Erica branding style that, that he had, like the the, the mm -hmm. whole black and whites uh, with yeah. sharp details, well, or sharp uh, typography and all, and all the money because the before we consider, well, they tried to make a profit. Like no, they were it was a charity event or it was a char a charity sale to uh, foundations that support mental health, you know. The thing that that Erica probably needed, or that he tried, that he tried to, his best to go to work around with, and Nintendo just shut that thing off because of the Joy-Con name. That is, uh, yeah. as, for, as far as I'm concerned, that's the element that they used as the legality because um, I think in comparison to other people that sell these stuffs, this is the first one that had because that was the point of the help uh, that was the quote unquote uh theme that Erica defined which was uh, joy con boys um so like so th that was the reason why they put that to honor then the, to honor the man that is no longer with us and and Nintendo because just because like at least that's that that, that was the loophole or the method that they found in order to shut it down temporarily Luckily, we can say that it's back, but they had to change the design to remove the name, the, the Joy-Con boys. As far as I'm concerned, the, yeah. the name has already uh, been removed and the design has already been re uh, rewor reworked it. Um, but just keep, in, just, just keep in mind that, that situation. Um, they went out of their way to cancel a charity event because of their, of their brand. Or because of the of the power of their brand, that uh, that is one, the most fucked thing. Once that again, is the most fucked thing. Once again, this is this this show is called the Gray Line for a reason. Like the name and the slogan are there for a reason. We're here. This is the Gray Line. We're we're all right and wrong at the same time. Whatever we say here is either for the sake of being stupid, for the sake of be, of having fun. For the sake of sharing thoughts, at no point we are anyone's judges, which is more than which is more than enough that I can say about a lot of people that think that social media is something that gives us power to define people's lives and fates. And yeah, this is the first. Bro, this is probably the first time in a in a very long time where I'm actually having this straight face or this straight voice. Yeah, because you can't see me <laughs> when I already fucked it up. But this is the first time where I'm trying to be legitimately. Tone like tone and tone the stupidity down a little bit because this is technically a very new low. I'm pretty sure yeah. that if we, I'm pretty sure that if I go and look at EA, Activision, some moments at Sega and Blizzard overall, like I can find similar moments. But just like when we learn things about the media that we love, like uh, just like how the the entertainment industry, just overall. When you find that that industry, which is the closest we have from from birth all the way to adulthood, where we can actually find peace or inner peace and entertain ourselves and have fun and feel joy, is one of the shadiest places that you can possibly work with, like work in. I know this for a fact. <laughs> um, like since I have both the pleasure and displeasure of being of working on different places of media. Like this is a new low majorly because 
again, like, it just says so much about how Nintendo, like, just the, the, the overall name, like, uh, if you tell me that, well, Doug Bowser or Rage or World, like, no, the fucking company, the exec, at the end of the day, has no problem going out of its way to do this kind of stuff, no matter what your intentions are. And trust me, we have, like, the, uh, these are just the recent events. These are just the re the most recent ones, which I, the, like, although I think the Erika one is the most, the, the most original one they have gotten in a while. The most, uh, of, yeah. of being assholes. <laughs> um, no, because, no, yeah. like, I'm sorry, like, once again, if I'm, am I right or wrong? I don't fucking care. That's the point of the show. <laughs> but, this is mm -hmm. bullshit in a lot of areas and pretty much have like ditching like this affects the nintendo more than anybody can actually think of especially if they go out of their way to defend it because at the end of the day we always hear that stupid excuse well not excuse it's a justification because it's a reality nintendo has the legal power to do this okay have you not seen jurassic park <laughs> we you... <laughs> we focus so much on the fact that they can or that they could do it that we forgot asking ourselves if they should <laughs> um yeah like <laughs> and <sighs> and you know to quote, quote metal gear being legal doesn't make it right exactly um uh, and something Something that was just going a little bit even further, like just like being illegal doesn't make it wrong. <laughs> I I have experienced that myself, like, again, on mm. more than one occasion. Um, mm. Like just and once again, even if like and there's also just major elements from time to time. Like once again, like, I mean, by this point, let's just let's just go back. <laughs> there's a reason why this is called Nintendo versus Community instead of Nintendo 2020 or some some more. More like some fancier words like Nintendo's bullshit or Nintendo DMCA or some stupid shit, because this goes, this has gone on for ages by this point. Uh, what is the furthest, mm -hmm. like the earliest memory that you can think of of Nintendo doing this sort of thing to to the two communities, so to the online f folks? The the farthest back memory I can think of. Yeah. Um, the, the, um, the, uh, I'm trying to remember, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the stuff on YouTube, um, that happened where, oh it, it, it were, you're gonna have to be more specific it, than that, you're gonna like have to... they were, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and, and <laughs> I was getting there, okay, um, but, uh, <laughs> the, um, the, with what happened was, um, where it's like they were cracking down on creative people using their ips just in general like like basically it, uh, I, I if i remember correctly, it's like around 2013 maybe 2014 like they 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 had they were tr trying to i guess basically you know they had noticed that youtube and you know let's plays were kind of taking off and so they wanted a lot of that revenue Okay, so we're going into um, the so basically whole, what they would do. If, so, if, so we're going into the whole copyright claim that started. Yeah, I think even since the Xbox One days, uh, like when the Xbox One was coming out, was coming up, uh, because that's when YouTube like went out on out. Like that was the real, real fate, like the real first uh, YouTube apocalypse, because everybody was talking about it. Like Angry Joe, uh, so call me Johnny, Rated Under A, like a lot of big names from that like at that time like and some of them still being like mm -hmm. because like a nintendo like, like the major thing was that nintendo was very very supportive on on the copyright uh like, uh, like on sapa cop like or all like, any copyright movement that you can think of nintendo was always very supportive of that at least from from mm -hmm. their from their behavior like <laughs> yeah yeah um I think I can go a little bit like again. I, I think that one happened before, but I can go with the Pokemon stuff. Like I can actually go with the Pokemon stuff. Like like a lot of fan games were coming up. Uh, like I like the the major oh, yeah. one. The major one that I can remember is uh, Uranium, 
and I think they're like, mm -hmm. eh, eh, and once again, like, oh, okay, hold on, give me one second because there's something they're they're sell they're selling corn on the street. I need to close my window. <laughs> <laughs> Corn, get your corn here. All right. But once, like, once again, the major thing uh, was that, like, I think that's the, like, again, I don't know if that happened before, like, first. <laughs> um, but it was around that time where we were starting to, uh, because of emulation and all, People were starting to like create their own hacks or their own modifications to games, hell, or even their own ROMs. Something that, luckily, for better or for worse, is still happening today. Like again, like whatever you have to say about mm -hmm. about those practices, like they're still happening today, and they bring a lot of possibilities, which I'm gonna bring up uh, like a very funny middle finger for, for Nintendo, like in the uh, like in the long run. Um, and uh, like as the hacks kept like have kept going on. Like Nintendo will just go after them. Like they will go after all the uh, all those elements. Like Pokemon Uranium is the is the f earliest one that I can think of, but they still try to go after some. Like I think they went after Pokemon Mo. Uh, like uh, they didn't shut it down. Like it's still there, but they haven't always been yeah, after that. Yeah, it's still there. Uh, and once again, like with the whole YouTube thing. They also went after uh, Alvin Earthworm. For those that may not remember, like you probably have yeah. heard of, uh, at least heard of his work with Super Mario Brothers C, the very original one, like like the, the very first one, but even like better said. And uh, he tried to make a Patreon out of it, and he got completely shut down by it. You can still find the show on on YouTube, but that demoralized him tremendously. Up until uh, very recent, when they when he tried to use copy and yeah, they actually he actually managed to get around that. Um, so again, like, yeah. So but, but like the, those two, like those two are the very first Nintendo things that like when it comes to the the, the company going against the community, which is then going after alterations and animated works of their IPs. And the funny thing is, like the, the animated stuff is very selective. Like uh, when it comes to the fan stuff, I can I, I, I can say that as soon as Nintendo sees it, they fucking go after it. Like if they haven't gone after a certain hack, it's because yep. they didn't notice it. <laughs> um, yep. And, and speaking of not noticing, like I'm, I mean, to this day, I still wonder what the whole thing of AM2R is, because that guy had ten years uh, of uh, doing that. As far as I'm concerned, like he always went out of his way to make sure that people were being silent about it to let him do mm. its thing uh with very few releases here and there but i as far as i remember every time he would release like a small demo that thing was getting shut down from the start <laughs> um mm. again i could be wrong about that part but people like by the time am2r comes out the people people were like or or AM2R was getting more traction and more traction, it stayed on the textual side. Like, people were very subtle about the reveals and the progress of the work. Because, by the time AM2R was already happening, we kind of knew what to expect from the company. We kind of knew what to expect from, from Nintendo and what they, they were going to end up doing to the product as soon as they will see the traction. And... Lo and behold, they yep. immediately like went after. Said. They immediately went after it as soon as it got released. Luckily, yep. people didn't give a shit. You can still find it, fortunately. Yeah, if you look hard enough. And but um, go ahead. Uh, and you know it's and and you know it's it, it's you know it's like you said like if any if any fan project explodes in popularity, they immediately go after it. Another case in point is that Mario sixty four remake in Unity. Uh, I, can, I can actually go one in, in, in between those two. Uh, no Mario Sky. Uh, I don't know. If you remember that one? I don't know. As well as uh, that one sounds familiar. And as well, like, well, or the very least, uh, I never got to play this one, but uh, like neither Mario Sky or this one, uh, Super Mario Royale, uh, which was also a hack mm. style. Like I don't know what that thing was all about, 
and I think you can also still play that weird four-player competitive Mario game that you will like, be able to play as the ones from Mario One to uh, like uh, from Mario Brothers Two. Like there are still hacks around mm -hmm. uh, around that mm -hmm. just didn't get enough traction, but you can still find them with these. Like the the original source can be still found, but uh, No Mario Sky mm -hmm. got. An alteration, which was no DMCA Sky, <laughs> which was just like a complete tree, like yeah. a, just a few reshifts of the character, and that was it. And AM2R is a fun situation because the guy that worked on it, once again, one guy made AM2R, and it's and it's for without going into that whole debate, it's put on par. It it was put on debate with. The, the actual mm -hmm. remake, which is what Samus Returns on the 3DS. Yeah, the actual remake, the release for 3DS. Like, yeah. like, like, we can say whatever we want about the quality of any of the two, but the fact that there was a discussion about the quality of those two, like, and see which one was superior, says a, that says enough about the quality of this yeah. dude's work. It, it also, once again, reminds us that, yeah. yeah, when you have that creative freedom, you can make a lot of, uh, a lot of amazing things. Um... Like because there's also that like uh, that uh, the 3ds game was a company product that definitely went through some executive uh, executive uh, situations as well as creative control uh, quality control because again a 2 r is also filled with its own flaws like it's not a perfect game but once again like neither was the 3ds one so like again just let's just keep those things in mind uh, before, like, before anybody wants to say anything about the about AM2R or Samus Returns on the 3DS. But with mm -hmm. that said, that person got like because of AM2R, he managed to get a job. I don't know if it's as a level designer or as a programmer overall, but like he managed to be a very important person on the development of the Ori series. <laughs> yeah. And if you and if you guys have seen a couple of the directs, Nintendo is very supportive of the Ori series, which is completely fucking <laughs> weird. Which is, um... <laughs> I think they just kind of forgot who he was. Just is just like, and we're we're gonna take this down. Oh, hello there, sir. Your name is so and so. or like, which can also say a lot about what they're actually going after when they go and make those cease and desist and the MCA uh, strikes and all that they probably don't even know what they're uh what they were ceasing or desisting <laughs> Um, yeah, they don't really know much about like the you know just the person. They don't really have the person on like you know they don't really make a file note for like a person to watch out. Or I guess or since since they you know they did the whole thing that got them in DM and CA trouble in the first place, it's just like it's it's Nintendo is just very kind of Terminator like. No, yeah. When it comes to execute, <laughs> when it comes to executing all these cease and desist on fan projects and creations oh. and it's just like they do it and they they, they like they destroy it and then they just walk away nothing else or you know no you you know what you, you actually you know what i think i can actually think of this remember that remember pokemon no like that episode based on pokemon go from rage cop oh my god <laughs> like that's kind of their attitude like they're just like uh, all right we're gonna go and beat like i want to go and beat some baddies ass and uh uh, I, see some, I, I see these people uh, working with our IPs, so I'm gonna beat the shit out of them for safety reasons. Then you see the people like <coughs> AM2R, the Pokemon Hacks, and Mario 64, like, you pieces of shit, like, and just beat them up for no reason. Just beat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, uh, or, uh, hey, trying to make a charity stream, then beat them up, like, stop trying to make a charity stream! Don't try <laughs> I'm trying to make charity. Um, <laughs> Legit. <laughs> like, I, like I'm sorry. Like, uh, uh, also again, if you're, if you're people from the streams or uh, and watching the archive on YouTube, check out our rage cover review. Like, I, like you, you're not gonna regret it. I, I, I swear. <laughs> um, but <laughs> like, it just 
the list just keeps going and going and going and going because once again I'm pretty sure that I can go you bring up Marty the Morrow 64 PC stuff that once again it didn't stop them like there's the people are even modding it to make sure that it looks like the magazine renders that you will see from time to time <laughs> uh, as well as uh -huh. yeah uh, I don't know like you have people like why are they why are they not ceasing and desisting people that are doing the whole Mario 64 beta uh, ARG shit going on <laughs> <coughs> like well, once again like when it comes to certain multimedia projects they they seem to be like very here and there like they're not super on the nose like with the uh hardware slash software work so that, 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 yeah. that, there's a whole debate to have on that part but once again like it, it's it's just a story yeah. like anyway. it's at the very least a decade old story of nintendo just going after these uh, these projects for no fucking reason because like other than just because they can if i if i'm honest because i don't yeah, see it... money being made or money being kept out of this i'll, I'll get to that later but like you, you go yeah no and you know i i always wanted to add on that actually is like it, it there is there is this funny parody video of the whole situation and you know it's like and then and the person that is the representative representative of that term that got shot down you know it was basically like asking the <laughs> the boogeyman nintendo in the video saying so you want us to gather in a gather in a tournament place despite the pandemic even even though it's highly contagious and highly dangerous to a lot of people and you also want us to buy a game uh for people that don't have it that is no longer in production yes <laughs> <laughs> and it's it it's 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 really it's really dumb because they they do it they you know they do it to preserve they they, they say they're doing it to preserve like sales or preserve money but like i would believe that if copies of melee were still being made yeah and you know they're not so it's like you're not getting Nintendo, you're not getting cheated out of any sales. If this was Smash Ultimate, that would be a whole different other thing, but it's not. This is a g game that's over 10 years old. And, you know, it's... It's... I... You know, it's... It, it's it, Again, they're like Terminators. They, they don't bother to second-guess their decisions. They, you know, they, they don't think that they're the ones out of... <laughs> like, am I the one that, that's out of touch? No. No, no, the children are the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, it you know, it, it it's it it it's re it's it's pretty much like you said, it's just like they don't they they try to you know, it it's they're not losing money, they're not losing out on any sales, they're just they're making their image worse in their community more than it already is yeah um like and the, the major reason why like, like somebody made a a thread talking about all the other things that like there are others that are just like yeah no they're not better than they're not better but they're also not worse than other companies because people like to go bring out like oh super mario 3d world and uh fucking uh gta 5 uh no, like a Super Mario 3D World and 3D All Stars ports that are they came out. I mean, I also remind you that when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, Naughty Dog, which again I don't, I, I also have problems with them with them as a company. Like just released ports of all of the other mm -hmm. shit, <laughs> and they were full price. Like if I recall, <laughs> like they were like they, they were like, oh, we're selling this on a shorter price. <laughs> uh or better or worse like we're not yeah like this is just part of the backwards compatibility like uh yeah no that's still a port that has been charged with price that it doesn't fit <laughs> like especially and i'm pretty sure that gta yeah. 5 on the ps5 is gonna be, do the same problem it's gonna, <laughs> um so like yeah, once probably. again like so so once again like those elements of porting things and at, at certain prices that don't fit that's nothing new 
from gaming from the gaming industry at, at all. Like that, those are elements that I feel like are just convenient to just go at Nintendo because of the other reasons <laughs> um, that they go on. Like, and also another example was that I think this was two years ago the whole situation with Emu Paradise. Which, once again, mm -hmm. like... Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, it's once again a thing that... Just because they can doesn't mean they should. Because, yeah, like, they... Mm, Emu Paradise, on the legal aspect, did not have to be around. But, on the other hand, like... I, I, and I'm actually glad. Like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna bring this this one out. I am actually glad that piracy is being seen on a better light as the time goes on. <laughs> because... We're starting to have more transparency mm -hmm. of how companies treat their employees, how the industry works as a whole. Like, we're just seeing that, yeah, no, these people are not good. So, like, if I want to pirate this thing because of reasons, fuck them. Like, they're really not... Uh, like, there, there's no point on me going out of my way to buy uh, Airbound at X amount of dollars uh, just because of the authenticity. Yeah, it... And some motherfucker was saying like, oh, it, I think, it would be better if it was on the virtual console. Like, no, not really, because it was on the virtual console and the price didn't change. And people were still buying that shit. So, yeah. yeah. Just like, uh, give your thoughts on the whole new party stuff. I need to take care of something. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, you know, my thoughts on the whole thing that happened with uh, Emo Paradise, you know, I actually used the, I actually used um, a little bit of that before, but mainly to play games that I own. I've never been really one to, um, never really been one to like. I, I guess this is my sort of stance on the whole parody thing. It's like I never been one to um, emulate games that I don't own. I usually like to emulate games that I do own because. One, in case if I don't have, you know, my console plugged in and don't want to, you know, go through all the, you know, wiring and, you know, finding a sp space for it. Um, and, you know, finding the disc and everything and hoping that this works after all this time. Because, you know, discs are very fragile, especially like GameCube and, you know, older games. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> and so, like, I would, um, you know, just usually um, play, like of games i own because you know it's a easier access and um you know it offers it offers more it you know it, it, it offers like higher uh quality you know usually like on dolphin you can upscale textures and resolution and make the game and the game looks even more pretty than it would on on the actual console yeah so like it it you know it, it's it's a it's a more like um uh quality experience i guess and, you know um, and you know, but if I want an authentic experience, and I'll play on my original console. But um, you know, it's like when Emu Paradise was taken down. It's like I I can understand why that happened, but at the same time, it's like at the same time, it, uh, it's um, it's like I, I definitely noticed all the uproar that hap that happened. Yeah, because of that. Okay, no, um, uh, so. At the end of the day, like, and this goes on for a lot of different things that we can, uh, that we can just go on. Like, you know, you can bring up uh, moments of, uh, like, how they just uh, go at multiple things, like they're a, a bigger deal or that's something that needs to be solved because piracy is something that has, has always existed. Like, uh, like, and if it's not mm. piracy, it's um, bootleg form, uh, or it's just, like, imitation or rip-offs, or, like, like there's always going to be a weird thing, like, uh, a weird relationship with that. But the major thing is, like, with, is that it was just a, it's, it's for the sake of preservation. And you cannot, uh, like, yeah. I'm just going to say this, for the internet culture overall, you cannot go and say that Nintendo's in the wrong for going at and having this attitude on people and then defend companies like Funimation that go that have this same attitude towards people because their service is fucking garbage. <laughs> um, 
because our yeah. service is garbage and piracy uh, ironically is a better product so like like, uh, like because that's the thing like uh, people defend that one asshole that said like uh, oh anime is a luxury and you shouldn't uh, and piracy is bad and and that probably the same people that defend that argument are the ones complaining about Nintendo's situation with emulation? Are the ones like you, like you need, yeah. like if that, so once again the gray line. We're all right and wrong at the same time, like and again everything is a case by case situation. I completely get that, but no, like in this situation, like in those two scenarios, it's kind of also in the same in, in the same place because they go out of their way to shit on other people for a problem that because they are claiming that. Something that really isn't a problem is like something that needs to be solved. Uh, because piracy has been around for yeah. years and years and years, and as far as I have concern, as far as I'm concerned, the entertainment industry is better than has ever been. Like where, like people pirated, uh, like, yeah, like people immediately were starting to create the Switch emulator. And the Switch is still the best-selling, uh, like the best-selling mm -hmm. console since the Super Nintendo. So, uh, movies are like again, like before. I'm gonna try to not do make this into a piracy conversation. That's worth its own topic. But <laughs> here's a final rebuttal, like my, my my major rebuttal here is towards the people that defend them on just like the the the, the Mastercard at the end of the day, which is. It's all for the sake of making a profit. <laughs> is it though? It really is it though? Because I'm pretty sure that the PR guy will say, you guys, like, like, like I'm pretty sure the PR guy, every time he sees uh, something online with the free melee and free splatoon and all these other things, I'm pretty sure he just, he just goes up, looks at Doc Bowser because I'm gonna say this, Doc Bowser seems like he's more on behalf of Nintendo of Japan than Reggie was the representative or the director of Nintendo of America. Like, because there were multiple circumstances where they will go out of their way to say like, yeah, no, this is Nintendo of Japan. I don't think we're getting that anymore. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this Platoon situation is the example of that. Where like Japan, yeah. the Nintendo Japan just goes after a certain DMCA situations. That's where I like, but I feel that the Splatoon, that the Splatoon stuff was Nintendo of America. That like, was Nintendo of America's doing. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Cause it's like, I, you know, it, it, it's, it's way too. Because, like, what happened was, like, you know, the, people were showing up with those hashtags and their usernames. And so, and while, you know, there was that downtime between uh, um, the last matches and the finals, you know, like, the, the days of waiting um, for the next scheduled, uh, you know, part for the finals to come, that's when that happened. It didn't, you know, it, it, they didn't, like, um, pull the plug uh, the moment they saw Free Melee pop, uh, pop up on the stream they waited for that match to be over and for the stream to be done and just did it like tried to do it behind the behind the curtain behind the curtain like <laughs> because if basically if, because let's be here let's be real if, if nintendo japan had been the the case they would have removed that immediately on nintendo japan but i think yeah. i think that was nintendo of america's doing but again that's a that's a conspiracy for another day uh however mm -hmm. I, and I want to like I brought this up in our stream and sponsorship uh, conversation. I want to talk about a couple of games that are really not that special, but it was because of them applying a mentality that Nintendo is completely against it, against that they managed to surpass them during a certain time. I want to talk about the last decade, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, Minecraft is the ultimate example of how Nintendo's attitude and the excuse that their executives and they can they had the legal power to do this and it's for or for money. Like Minecraft is the is the ultimate example of how this behavior is bad in all shape and form. 
or at the very least in, a very, in more ways than just the community aspect. That this is an actual financial danger that they put themselves in by doing those things. Mm -hmm. Because Minecraft, again, is a very big game. It's a very important game, and it was able, like from the start, to make a lot of a lot of great stuff. Like the the game is not the same as it is today. Like like it is really not. There's a lot more features, a lot more things to do, and a lot more models. But there was still like back when it just came out, people were able to like make amazing things with just the the the, the small amount by comparison to today's standards of Minecraft. Like the small amount by comparison that they have was more than enough to make it one of the best games of all, the, one of the most popular and iconic games, and probably the most important game for the in the industry. <laughs> like. Be, I think yeah. like I, I can some people can go with uh, Super Meat Boy, Cape Story. Like there are a lot of games that were part of that, but my I think Minecraft was, is, is the Final Fantasy VII of indie games. Like I think, mm -hmm. like because that's the one that put indies on the yeah, mainstream. I agree with you. Like that's the one that put indies like to really, to really put indies like on the very middle of the spotlight. Like no, we're fucking here, we're... and. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, like, so, but you, but you do know why that happened, right? You... Um, my ear refreshed me. What was, like, what do you think was the reason why Minecraft became just as big of a game that it is today? Uh, to the point what? where, to the point of becoming the contender, like, uh, like, like when it comes to PC games, they think of like uh, like or indie games, they think of Minecraft the same way that Microsoft brings Master Chief and Nintendo brings Mario. <laughs> like what? Like what makes you think right. make um, Minecraft as popular as it is? I guess you know. I, I this is the, the, this is my guess. Uh, um, is that they're really? I don't really think, as far as I know, that there was really anything like it at the time. Maybe there might have been survival games, but not really one with as much of like unique sort of style that's sort of blocky but sort of you know it's simple sort of kind of game because usually survival games are pretty complex but minecraft kind of like broke it down into a simple structure and you know made it more approachable okay no no that, okay on one hand that is definitely um, a per that is definitely that's, a per, that's my guess like that is definitely a major aspect of like okay but okay you have that game that offers a lot of possibilities who was the one that talked about it? Was it Microsoft? Was it no? Microsoft came after it was successful, and Mojang was just oh, kind of yeah. like just kind of put it there. It was the YouTubers. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, like, I don't know why I didn't no, no, guess no. that. No, I don't know why I didn't guess that. No, to be fair, what you said <laughs> is a fair argument. It's a very, very fair point of view. Like it's definitely something. That, that I, I, there needs to be good, uh, credit being given to the quality of Minecraft's possibilities, but nobody would have given a shit about that game, or or it would have taken a very longer time to be as good as it is, if it wasn't for the fact that everybody was talking about it and everybody was able to talk about mm -hmm. it and make something out of talking about it. One of the best, mm -hmm. like one of like one of the many methods of advertising there's printed advertising there's our uh, uh audio like multimedia advertisement and then there's uh, again i might have mixing names up because of the translation situation but one of the most important ones and like, but, but sadly the hardest one to really make happen because you can just organically do that is mouth to mouth advertisement which is pretty much just it's just as it sounds like where I recommend you a game, you play it, you enjoy it, you recommend it to someone else, and it, and the chain keeps going until a certain point. That is what made Minecraft what it is, as well as once again like it was so popular, it, it became so relevant that YouTubers also made a living out of that. Like it, it was like it just became that mouth to mouth situation where people were watching 
the results of people playing that game as well as the the amount of things that they can do with the game like they were watching the quality of the game through youtube through social media mm -hmm. so, so so like uh, once again i think uh, yeah yeah uh, family is coming in like i just need to open the door uh you bring your point on that regard please mm -hmm. you know it's i i i think that it's you know, when it when it and, and that's the thing I feel like that that Nintendo is missing where when it comes to that because they're not really they're not really encouraging of the content creators that verse themselves in their own products like I mean it I I've I've never really seen Nintendo talk about much of any like YouTubers or streamers or you know people that it very that very enjoy their, um, very much enjoy and endorse their own products. Um, you know, they usually sort of, when they tend to thank the fans, they, they tend to be sort of that typical universal sort of vague sort of thing. Like, oh, you know, thanks to the fans, you know, thanks to everyone. You know, it's like, and, you know, sure, I'm sure in some cases that might be genuine, but if you don't, if you, if you don't, like, get more personal with your own community over time or that you grow with them or that you um adapt with them and understand what they want what they like with you know the the whole reason why they like you and everything then you become so unattached that they're more they they become more numbers they're, they they become more numbers than people and i i feel like and I feel like, especially in Nintendo Japan, that's how they see a lot of it. And I just, I just think that you know, when when it comes to a lot of the the legal decisions they make, you know, sure, like we said earlier, they have the right to, but just because you have the right to doesn't make it right. <laughs> you know, it it's you know it, it it's it's a very it's a very big problem that that you know people have a right to be upset about because you know it's just every single time this has happened or something like this nintendo just ignores it they don't address it at all uh you know and that you know that's that's, that's one of the things i guess maybe blizzard slightly has over nintendo i only say slightly because they didn't you know fully fix the problem um you know, they they never really just they never really interact with their community. They never really talk. You know, I try to try to fix things or make common ground with content creators or just their fans in general. And you know, and then you know that's a and you know that, that that's a one hell of a thing considering a lot of their commercials and advertisements are like family oriented. You know, being very personal and everything, and and. You know that, that that's that's you know it, it, it's you know it, I guess maybe it shows the difference of intention, difference of where their heart is. Where you know perhaps maybe the the ones in the suits are the ones to blame. You know the executives and the devs are just just you know trying to um, actually you know make a game for people. You know that they you know the a project that they're passionate about. about. Um, and you know that, that that can certainly be the case. You know, executives usually are the 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 ones to blame when it comes to a lot of shitty businesses decisions. Um, but I think that like and uh, I think and, that it, and and that kind of brings up to because as Minecraft was growing up, sorry, um, as Minecraft mm -hmm. was growing up, the Wii U came out. Yep. And what happened there? <laughs> no, seriously, what happened there? I don't even there? think Nintendo I don't know knows. what happened. I don't even... <laughs> no, like, but, like the, the Wii U happened and the YouTube partnership program happened. Yep. And AM2R happened. And uh, I think the Super Mario Brothers see the debacle happened. And you, like, just... What, meanwhile, you have one company grow like multiple companies because i cannot once again like uh to this day that that to this day 
I can prove with evidence, with actual games, that that mentality is very is better to to avoid. Among Us became a thing after two years of just staying there because of content creators yeah. talking about it. Um, you have uh, how can I put it? You have Undertale that became as popular as it is because of content creators like talking about the importance of mm -hmm. it and how neat it was for people to just play the game. You have I don't fucking know. Uh, like, like again, we can just bring a lot of different like indie games or just games like from other from different companies like GTA was as GTA Online became as popular as it is because of streamers as well as some rat kids but that's a different story um <laughs> uh like so the, the list can just go on and on and on and on like about like many companies that understood <laughs> that stream like a fucking ea to other to an extent they're as good as it is because people like streaming fifa mm. call up like in some of the shooter games that they have <laughs> like they like when they got battlefield <laughs> uh like they, they literally I, I i think it was ea i'm sorry if i'm mistaking that part but they literally had one E three where Battlefield friends and other YouTubers were the advertisement for for some of the stuff that they were making. Um, so, well, uh, hell, I think uh, Activision has also managed to make something out of that uh, out of the, out of that mentality. Sega literally survives out of people talking about their shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, meanwhile, Nintendo. This conversation is aside the quality of their products. And it shows because people kind of forgot about all of these topics with Sephiroth coming into Smash. Which is a big deal, don't get me wrong. But it kind of shows like the, the ways that they have to get you in. To get you hooked in no matter what they do. Like, a, like a similar to the whole Disney situation where like a, you can say whatever you want about the company and the way the, the quality of their product. They had you by the balls because... You are consuming their, you are consuming their, their 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 projects and products, and the same goes to Nintendo. Mm -hmm. You're gonna like no matter how much shit you talk about Pokemon, you're gonna buy the next Pokemon Sword and Shield, the, the next Pokemon Sword and Shield. You're gonna buy the next po like Mario 3D All Stars. You're gonna buy the next port of anything, <laughs> just like we did with. You know, like, go ahead. Um, I I, <laughs> I saw that. I saw this perfect uh, tweet that basically summed up the situation where it's like, where I think I feel like it's the, it's 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 the reason why we why nothing really changes when stuff like this happens. You, you have you um you ever seen Flapjack? Um, I saw it and I don't remember much about it. I don't know I don't know what that says about the, <laughs> about the, trauma. There is there <laughs> the, 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 there is this scene where. One of the characters is like talking to a dog, and you know, and, and you know, he's, he's basically saying, "You may have impressed everyone, but it, but it will take a lot, lot more to change my mind about you." And then the dog does a backflip, and then it just, and then it just zooms on the character's face, being hyper realistic and shocked. Uh -huh. And someone edited that clip for the dog to be Nintendo and the character to be Free Melee, uh -huh. and when the dog flips. Oops, it turns into that smash announcement of Sephiroth. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, <laughs> no, and, uh, but, but again, like, I can just bring other examples. Like, at the end of the day, mm, like, I hate, well, I well, I don't support the mentality of limited release of Mario 3D All-Stars, yet I freaking adored Super Mario 35. Like, so once again, I'm part of that problem. I am not, compl I'm not saying otherwise, but that's that's the situation like that's why they look they know that they can afford to do that that shit because we're puppets we're just there buying their shit <laughs> like <laughs> we can complain about all we want like i do encourage people to complain no matter if, they're, if they consume nintendo products or not or any product from a company you don't like and yet stop and yet talk shit about it uh, i'm not so much of a dead threat supporter but I am a supporter of complaining, uh, like, of, of just showing that, yeah, you're not as, like, despite being a consumer, you're not satisfied with the quality of this. 
uh, this thing that they're pulling out or this thing that they're making or whatever. And they can, and Nintendo has gone above and beyond with a lot of other things and some others definitely get a boost because we're familiar with the characters and the world that they have created already. Um, so like, it just ends up becoming this visual cycle where like, if we really want to see any sort of change, just like it at the end happened with the U with uh, Nintendo removing the YouTube uh, partnership support or the partnership program and now letting people mostly like releasing Nintendo stuff, like Nintendo videos without that much of an issue, if, although it still happens from time to time depending on what you're doing. Mm. Like, but that happened because they were cornered. They had no other thing but to start showing that they were uh, prioritizing community stuff. Because ironically, that happened when the Switch just came out. And they didn't know how successful that thing was going to be. Because they were still dealing with the repercussions of the, of the Wii U's debacle. Uh, so, mm -hmm. once again, like, it's like companies uh, don't listen to our hearts, nor to our throats. They listen to, the, to our wallets. That's what, like... Yeah. Like, it really is... It's that hard slash simple because yeah, you don't want to support this thing, don't buy it. Like, like you don't want to support this behavior, don't consume the products. Like, although if you like the products but you still want the company to improve, then yes, yeah, speak your mind about it. Do everything that you can to show and encourage that like the uh, the uh, the attitude that goes against uh, what they have done for the past decade. Because it's important to let them know that even though we can enjoy the stuff that they make, we don't like what they're doing as a company. Like, I think, like, and, and it is very simple to just go somewhere else. It is very simple to go buy a $300 PC and get a, and get a good chunk of independent games that don't require that much powerhouse. It is very easy to just buy a different kind of console yeah. and show them why you support that console instead of instead of nintendo it's very like it's easy to just to, to yeah it's easy to go against nintendo without going against gaming uh like i think that's the way to put it like uh there's this new game yeah. coming out that is now another but now a kind of more cynical inspiration on breath of the wild play that instead of Breath of the of, of getting Breath of the Wild, if you don't support Nintendo's uh, practices, you can still get great games because competition is important. So once again, wallets yeah. are the ones that speak at the end, and it's better to show them that one way or another. And if you just cannot help yourself, then keep expressing your attitude towards the company because, babe. That's the only thing you have left. <laughs> like, like, so like, if you're, if you're, yeah, a, no, if, I, if you're a consumer, that's all you have left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. People are definitely doing that, especially like you know when I was watching a little bit of the Game Awards. Um, whenever a Nintendo ad would show up, the chat would explode into free melee, <laughs> and it, it's funny. It, 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 yeah, it's it's and it's good seeing people. Mm -hmm. vocal about it um and you know it, it's just you like you said got to talk with the wall you know as much as as much as you know protest is strong you know th th that ain't gonna reach the suits they'll just they, all, all they'll think is that oh they'll they'll, they'll get over it eventually the, the, uh, really just let's just be quiet and wait for the storm to pass like the only thing there that's that's gonna end up happening out of that is uh, let's see, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, like, uh, you know, let's see. Yeah, it's not here. Uh, like, the only thing is that they're just gonna ignore those situations and just pretend that any that everything is normal. And, to, and in other mm -hmm. words, what they're gonna end up doing is to pretty much... That they're, they're gonna do that. We're gonna. Uh. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> my 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 stream just caught up. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry, don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they're just like, how do I keep making money? How do I make them talk? Like, shut the shut the hell up. How do I dab on them haters? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much. So like, and also, and uh, like, if, and also like, both speak with your wallet and with your online power. If you are the, mm -hmm. if, if you, if we are claiming to support things like the Mario 64 PC and all these uh, like uh, AM 2 R, play them. No matter how, no matter what, show them that you support those things in order to like kind of also make them see like, oh, people actually care about this stuff because once again, you can't call out Nintendo for going against Pokemon Prism, Prism or Uranium or Black. <laughs> Uh, like the original, like the, the black version that had Ghost, um, and mm. and then just say like, oh, I must consume unfinished Pokemon Sword Shield. Buy my, take my <laughs> money, <laughs> take my. Like, I'm gonna buy DLC to complete that Pokedex. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, I I, I want half of the DLC to be shit that should have been in the game in the end game. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or like, uh, oh man, uh, uh, fuck, I lost it. I, <laughs> 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 but, but, I mean, even then, even with all the DLC, not all the Pokemon are back, and it's just so funny. It's yeah, so and that's stupid. some fucking argument to be had. Like, and, yeah, that's it. That is the own thing. <laughs> and I do plan on going on a Pokemon talk because I have a lot of love hate relationship with Pokemon just as a. No, as a series, not even as a company situation, but again, we, we, like, the, the reason why I bring those examples is because with the gaming industry showing with money and words <laughs> that that is the future, like that, that well, not so much the oh, streamers are the future, like, no, God, no, uh, but <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're like, that that kind of advertisement is better. Like, you're not losing money, you're still getting people to buy your, like, to buy your products, and now that you, they see their, few, their favorite YouTubers streaming it, and, like, streaming it and talking about it and saying their thoughts, and now you want, and now you are at least aware of that product and you want to consume it now. Like, what they wouldn't even mm -hmm. better ease. Because, w once again, they're not really bringing an alternative here. Like, they're not really giving, like, uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're not like with Sega that to a, they want, to a certain degree they do uh, keep an eye and monitor a lot of their hacking and fang uh, game situations because they know that that might have the future uh, Christian Whitehead. Like, not necessarily that fang games are better, because you're like, no, there's somebody out there programming stuff that we can bring in, like, they they, 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 they they acknowledge potential, at the very least. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure if they know mm -hmm. what potential is, but they definitely try to find it, but, like, however, with the overall behavior that Nintendo has, it's uh, it speaks volumes that Nintendo, the publisher, means more to people than Nintendo, the company, because... Once again, this has been going on for a decade, and people are still, still consuming their stuff. Like, people are still consuming their stuff and creating things with those stuff. Like, like they're still, mm -hmm. they're still finding, uh, mo like, ways to show the impact that the company has on them. That says a lot, both in a good and bad way, about the company. Because, once again, like... Like it's it's very hard that like it's very hard to process that a company that has managed to touch people in that way to the point where they make amazing things like AM2R, uh, Mario 64 PC, Super Mario Brothers C, uh, fuck, uh, Kaiso Mario, <laughs> like to the point where again yeah. you can like again they cannot say that they don't see the value on it when they have fucking Mario Maker as a thing <laughs> that sells. <laughs> um, like that literally came out of the uh, of, of those concepts, but again, that's only a fraction of that's only a, a peak of the giant iceberg that is Nintendo 
fan creations. And it's part of why if you mm -hmm. like for those that have been around for to watch some of the stuff on YouTube, I review a lot of fan projects like Battlefield Friends, Zelda's Hero High, like the list goes on. Well, it, 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 the idea is that the list can keep going because that's where the future is. Like That's where the new people, the new talent, the new blood is going to come out at the end. That's where the people mm -hmm. that are working right now may come from, may have already been from. Uh, well, like I said, the guy on AM2R, like the guy that works, <laughs> the the guy that worked on AM2R is now part of the Ori series, and that thing is successful. And <laughs> a fan project, <laughs> or so, somebody that made a fan project, managed to contribute to a successful product. <laughs> like we can just, and again, yeah. I do plan to keep going because this is an important conversation to have. This is an important thing to discuss because I feel that yeah, even if we remove Nintendo from the equation. Fan creations are important because that's where maybe somebody just hasn't been able to explode that creativity in order to make their own IP, but it's because of those franchises that they managed to at least put their ideas in physical form. Like, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there wanted to make mm. something like uh, A Link to the Past randomizer, but they didn't have the creative mentality or time to make a new IP with that idea and instead they just focus on what they wanted to do. <laughs> like what and that's another thing. Yep. Uh, a li like a link to the past randomizer. It's a huge success because of the community. Like it's not necessarily a profit like a financial success, but it's as popular as it is to the point where it is on games done quick. <laughs> like for charity events like or just important events in gaming and it's a fan project. In fact, that one is more uh, cynical because it's literally like, okay, we're just going to reprogram this shit to be random. <laughs> Meanwhile, AN2R is uh, with its yeah. own original thing. <laughs> so, Pokemon Uranium with its <laughs> own or original thing. And then Pokemon Uranus was a, it's a different thing that I'm pretty sure they don't want to talk about. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 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 um, but look, what, are, what, what are your thoughts on just the overall aspect of fan creators? I... I, you know, when you say that, like you mean people that like make fan games or fan animations fan or anything. fan, you know, it's like okay. Um, I so, I know we're kind of biased yeah, because I, those things kind of define our childhoods. <laughs> the, the, to be fair, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I I grew I grew up loving Halo Machinima, like that, like you know that 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 was, mad, was like. You mad, bro? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> goddamn right, I'm mad. Good. Mad, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it you know, it, for me when I was younger, it was like oh, it's like I was getting more of the series I love, even if it wasn't official. Like even if it, like even if it, like if, if it was um, if it was games featured if it was like fan little fan games featuring like just different characters different settings and nothing had very i wouldn't say very little but like not too much to do with like the original uh material or like you know or shows um you know like so with machinima a lot of halo machinima tended to be um you know having its own you know uh having its own characters and stories but even then it was still it was still in that universe that made me just appreciate it more because not only you know it's it shows that that you know that people you, you don't gotta be in a company you don't gotta be um a professional programmer you know to to see um to see the the passion um, or to at least be in a, a professional environment yeah 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 that's what i was trying to say yeah actually Mm -hmm. um and you know it's i think you know it fan creations is what helps i think keep a franchise alive it shows <coughs> it shows that, and, you know a company should, <laughs> pretty much um but you know a company should should come to appreciate that because not only does not only does it just grant more traffic and more activity in your franchise probably during you know content droughts and everything but <laughs> <Sonic>. it, 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 <laughs> um but 
it shows that the it shows that these people these fans are tr truly love the product that is made and it, it means more than just um than just a simple form of entertainment to them it, it is a creative avenue and you know and, and you know that, that, that that's that's one of the you know that, that, that's that's one of the great things about about just life in general you know creating stuff you know that's yeah that's, that's yeah that's one of the greatest things you know that's that's one of the things i seek to do with wanting to make animations and everything um you know it's 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 such a almost indescribable experience and so i feel like companies really need to embrace that uh, you know like with with encouraging fan creation encouraging um you know engaging with their community and nintendo doesn't have the, those two things honestly yeah uh i uh for those that know me enough are aware that one of my major passion projects is to make uh a Zelda Breath of the Wild a bridge series and when whenever I see things like Hero Hype or just people doing wacky things on Breath of the Wild, or just uh, whenever I remember Four Source Adventures, Miss Misadventures on Newgrounds, um, <laughs> like those things inspire me and motivate me. But whenever I see things like this, they do discourage me. But not because oh I'm gonna get taken down. Like no, it's because like I don't know if I want to. Like I don't know if talking about the game. Or like just, or I don't know if if the video will be seen in the same light that I do when I think about it, because people will then like if 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 in a wild dream that ended up being su successful, not necessarily like the next TFS or whatever. I don't care about that, but just being something that people enjoy, and then Nintendo goes out of it. I don't want to be the next topic. To the like, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be the next topic to make people defend a company's actions that are just hurtful in a financial and social success, like in, in social aspects. Like I said, if you put that attitude on people, they're, they're you're losing at least a good percent of audience because you're making them be afraid that they cannot do anything with the product rather than just consume it. Which again, is not the point of it anymore. It's not. People are more than just that, than just people just like yeah. fucking zombies uh, taking your product and doing shit whatever with it. Although Pokemon and Animal Crossing might say otherwise, but still. <laughs> uh, and it just keeps bringing that that element back and back where I just don't see in any form like because like there are people even people in Japan like like one one of the uh, or. Uh, in Asian countries that see that uh, situation, there's a reason why a lot of the major players are Asian at the very least. Like, to not be racist, I don't want to be that. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to be canceled before reaching anywhere. Anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, like, you put those situations. Like, you put. You have. You, there, there's just no way that they cannot see that. Um. Like, I don't know if they're seeing a bigger picture than we are, even though we live in the whole picture. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they're... <laughs> pro, or, I don't know if they think that people will end up not consuming the products because of the fan creations. <laughs> Although they really don't bring any alternatives. No. Like, uh, once again, they can... They can cancel melee events all they want but they're not they didn't give any alternatives to it <laughs> at least this year uh they were like they can cancel uh they, they can cancel like, the mario maker thing on the wii u they can cancel it all they want but they're not really bringing uh, unless they bring amiibo support for the for mario maker 2 again what's the alternative why are you bringing to bring that like to uh, to replace that magic that you're taking away. <laughs> like, because that's the major thing. Like, you can't just, like, as a seller, you can't just take away a one benefit without bringing an alternative to it. Yeah. Uh, like, it's like if you're, if uh, suddenly your cable company remove 
Like, or, or, or better yet, like, you know, like, once again with the online services on, on games. Now with Tetris 99, Mario 35, and the Super NES, the Super NES Flex, there, there are, those are reasons to purchase at least $20 a year. But once again, but, but once again, that those were the answers to removing something that was a principle of online gaming, which, like, which was, why do I have to pay to play the game online when I already pay for the internet? What the fuck? <laughs> Like, uh, what was the yeah. an- what was the answer? Xbox and PS and, and Xbox and Sony. Oh fuck! Microsoft and Sony brought the game passes, uh, game- deals with gold, PlayStation Plus, like 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 a free game, like one or two free games every every month. Like there was a certain value that was given in yeah. the long run, in order to cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, how can I put it? Like in order to in order to answer that question, like why should I pay? Or something that was already that was yeah. free to begin with. <laughs> uh, Equivalent exchange. Yeah, no, like, uh, like, but but again, that's needed. Like that's why people kind of cut mm-hmm. them yeah. some slack with the A and R situation because a few months later they gave us the 3DS version. But again, say what you want, that was an alternative. Like they actually mm-hmm. give you something in exchange for the A and R situation, but. What is the alternative for uh, for the for mainly online events? Nothing, because they also removed the ultimate stuff, like you just said. <laughs> um, so once mm-hmm. again, like uh, if you don't bring an alternative to what you're removing, then you're not doing a good job. Uh, if they uh, like, if, if if they were like, oh, yeah. if you want to use use our IPs for certain things and make a profit. We can do an improved version of the YouTube partnership program, but you make money no matter what, no matter if you're successful or not. Like, 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 just like how I think Machinima used to do, where they will pay you for doing projects, no matter how they ended up making profit. I guess I could be wrong. I don't know. I uh, because I don't see how people at uh, Happy Hour were even making something out of it back then. Eh, but of course, maybe they're canceled for a reason. Uh, <laughs> But like it's just that principle of the thing, like even uh, in terms of like business aspects, like if you just put the money in the table, you're damaging your brand in any form possible, loses the the financial rate. Like if you're hurting your project, you're making people not want to buy it. Although once again, it goes into that part of speak with your wallet and you're actually mad because People were furious. People were livid on Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then yeah. it came out and what it was the fastest Pokemon uh, game being sold. Yep. So once again, like by that point, you're bringing mixed mixed feelings. <laughs> you're you're bringing mixed messages uh, to that element, and without going too much yeah. into it, with the results of the Game Awards 2020. You're, why, are, why are you trying to say to the to the gaming industry that it's okay to treat your employees like shit? That it is okay to be, uh, to do development crunch? That it's okay to just do every single bad thing for your employees and consumers, <laughs> like, like as well as false advertisement? Yeah. And then, uh, and you're gonna be just fine. In fact, you're gonna be successful. You're gonna be the, recognized as the best thing ever. You're gonna be, and yeah, like that is my major. Think and we'll, and we'll talk about that on a later day. I think the next topic, uh, yeah. if, we, if we can do it tomorrow, will be that. But going back into this, mm-hmm. Nintendo, like I think, are my final thoughts because we're already on the hour and a half mark. Mm-hmm. Mm, Nintendo just needs to learn the community is not that the community is not their enemy at all. Even because, as we just said, even when they hate Nintendo, they fucking love it. They fucking love Nintendo. The money is the one yeah, talking yeah. at the end. <laughs> uh, like yep. everybody can say, like, "Oh, Mario Six, the Mario Three D All Stars is so bad, poor, and it shouldn't be happening." Like they didn't lie to you at all when it came out or before it came out. You knew it was gonna. We we all knew it was gonna cost sixty dollars. It was just gonna be the poorest of these things, like of those games, and that whatever the case was, it was yep. not gonna be a superior version to the Dolphin versions, like. Because again, Dolphin makes makes can make Mario Sunshine run at 4K. 
How the fuck do you want to happen that on Switch? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like so, beginning a lot of areas, we knew what we were getting. We were what we were getting. We were complaining about it, and we still bought it. We still bought that shit. We st- or we still want. We still want to buy that shit. Mm-hmm. I still want to buy that shit because that's how it goes. Like I, as much as I can complain about Nintendo as a company, the stuff that like Nintendo as a publisher. I have no problems, and I think most people don't at the end. Or, or again, they're, they don't know what they really want, because, again, Poke- Pokemon is the biggest example of that. They could, like, I know that's a Game Freak thing, I understand that, but still, uh, they could have just not buy it if they were not pleased with the decisions that being made and the lies that were spread, but then it still sold very well. It's still considered a successful game. It's still- uh, Animal mm-hmm. Crossing is like we can say many thoughts about Animal Crossing as a game, but again, it sold really well, either because people really wanted an Animal Crossing on console, or because of fucking COVID. But that's a different story. Um, mm-hmm. And again, we can, I can just keep going. <laughs> like they, yeah. they should have gotten a lot of slack for removing Emu Paradise, but uh, first off. Emu Paradise was not the only one uh, with emulation. In fact, you can still find torrents with all the all the stuff in one link. <laughs> like just one link of distance, and you can get all of the uh, Game Boy Advance stuff and NES and SNES and, and N64 stuff. <laughs> so you're not we're not lost on that regard. Mm-hmm. But we also support people going against piracy despite not bringing up an alternative to it. Like I said, it deserve like, uh, and I will agree with the people, the made the guy that made Valve, like Gabe Newell, that piracy sometimes can also be a service problem, where you just like you just need to give them a good reason to spend money on it instead of getting it for free. Uh, yeah. So like th- those elements are just gonna keep happening if Nintendo doesn't realize that the community is not its enemy, and the day they manage to do that. And I just realized that I put community with just one M, and I hate myself. And I, um, <laughs> I'm definitely changing that for the for the YouTube archive. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, bring your closing thoughts, Solar. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, kind of mostly what you said is. It's just you know when what it all comes down to is that this this is. This is not new. This happened many, many, many times, and this is just another big wave of it. And it will probably happen again, and again, and again, and then again. And the only way that, only way it's going to change is if you just speak with your wallet, because, like, you know, it's Nintendo Japan, especially the executives. You know, like you, like you said earlier, they don't care about the heart. They don't. Care care about you know voice coming out of the throat they care about the money coming out of the wallet and that is what we need to talk with and you know it's and 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 unfortunately that that just that just more comes down to people's um people's uh you know fortitude you know t or uh what's the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for it's uh, you know just basically you know to basically actually do what they say you know that that their that their words of you know protest actually do something you know uh, you know if they say they if they say they won't you know support nintendo anymore they need to actually follow through with that to make their and, words and actions ma- match with each other yeah to make- yeah 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 exactly and you know it's again you know it, it's it's pretty much just summed up in that in that flat clip I was talking about earlier, it's just like you know, one moment, you know, like when when all this stuff has happened, you know, they're they're, they're that character where it's just like, you, know, you might have everyone's money, but it will take a lot more to get my money to, for you to get my money back. And it's like, and Nintendo's like, okay, you're set off and smash. Hey, Ooh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, like uh, the 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 backflip is you like. <laughs> Pretty much. 
<laughs> like <what>? Nintendo. <laughs> Fucking. Um, but you know it's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my no, I, I think... oh, oh my god! Oh my god! DMCA Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh man, that DMCA stuff is gonna be another topic for us to talk about. Oh, um, no, but... trust me. Well, we will. We will. But um, you know, in the end, what I think is just that, you know, with the example of you bringing up that people were boycotting Sword and Shield so much, and yet it was the fastest selling. Pokemon game, people need to actually follow through with their words, with their protest, because if you, it, 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 it's like, you know, it, it, it's it, people just need to have stronger wills when it comes to it, because it's just they're not gonna. Nintendo's not gonna listen any other way. As as much as I wish it wasn't like this, it's unfortunately how it is, because you know some companies just. Re really really only care about the money even if it seems like they even if the games sort of seem and you know the atmosphere and of the devs and everything uh, you know like reggie and um and, and everyone else seems like they do you know care on a circle you just gotta remember the people that are pulling the puppet strings those are the people <laughs> that look, uh look at them take the pictures Nintendo screed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, those are the people that we have to, you know, get their attention. And if the only way to get their attention is to talk with the money, then that's what that's what we have to do. And you know, I, for me personally, I you know, granted, I'm not really in much of a position to be be buying a lot of things so like i i don't really consider myself to be making much of a difference but you know for those for those that are able you know it's like it, it, you know the, those that want change those that want the nintendo to actually give a damn about its community and you know uh, and not be and, and realize that <laughs> they're the ones out of touch <laughs> but um uh it's you know until until then it, it, this is just gonna keep going. Yeah, no. Uh, like because, and once again, it will enforce other companies to keep doing those practices. Like again, what's so different about Mario 3D All Stars and uh, GTA 5 coming to PS5? Not much. Really, not much. Not mu <laughs> much. Uh, so, and with that, we'll we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>